Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming. And if you're new to the channel, every Monday and every Thursday around 1 p.m., we do sneaker and tech reviews. And if you can tell by the title of today's video, we got another tech review for y'all. In today's video, we're going to be updating our PlayStation Remote Player, or um, our PlayStation Portal. Um, last week, I want to say June 18th, they released an update to the 3.0 um, software for this portal or whatever and um i want to see what new features i haven't updated it yet so we're going to walk through the process of how it looks to get it updated from the 2.06 i think to the 3.0 update we're going to see what new features it comes with i heard it's some pretty good features it should be the best update that it got for us so i don't want to hold y'all up man let's go ahead and get to the video Okay, so we got our PS Portal right here, and before we do our update to it, we're going to talk about what um, bullet points or what things are going to come with this new version 3.0 update. So the first bullet point is the PS Portal can now connect to public networks. If there's a public network available in places such as like hotels, cafes, and airports, you can connect your PS Portal to the Wi-Fi, entering the required information such as like an ID, password, and room number using your phone or a computer. It says to connect to public networks, make sure that the initial setup for your PS Portal is completed to comply with regular for various countries and regions the ps portal might not support connections to certain public networks such as five gigahertz um networks it says when you and um for me i think that's kind of useful um i wouldn't recommend it because of the speed of ho hotels and airports a lot of people are connected to it i don't think you would get the best usage out of it by connecting it i prefer to use my hotspot but if you don't have it and you want to connect it to your uh, hotel or something like that and you have a room key or they give you a password that you need to use or if you're at work and you want to connect it to your work um wi-fi now this this update will give you the ability to connect to other uh, public uh wi-fi networks but it's only based on 5g or uh, 5 gigahertz uh network so whatever um, connection that you're going to be connected to it has to have five gigahertz i've looked at other reviews i've seen other people speak on this and they said that it's hit or miss but for me i always use my um hot spot anyway so it doesn't really matter but it's not a, a, a hit or miss because you didn't have it anyway before so this is an update that's going to probably keep updating and give you better network and connection stability so nonetheless the next bullet point it says you use the touchpad area on the screen during remote play and you'll see new uh, visual feedback so when you using the touchpad we will see once we do the update it'll have visual um feedback on that so i think that's going to be pretty cool uh the last bullet point they have is that your uh ps portal can now display the remaining battle battery level as a percentage on the status bar at the top right of the screen it just says to open the quick menu go to setting system battery and then turn on the show battery percentage it says they've improved system software performance and stability and they've improved the message and usage stability on the screen so pretty much it tells you how to update your uh, playstation portal i'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on power it up and we're gonna get it updated so let's go Okay, so we got our remote player plugged up. Um, I need to charge it up. I haven't used it in a while. We're gonna turn the power button on. And as you can see, you push the PS button to unlock. If you look right here, it does not have a battery percentage or a number or anything. I think that little blue dot right there tells me that I have a, a update in the settings. You see the little blue dot in the settings. And yes, it says you have a update system software. So we're gonna back out of that. We're just gonna go ahead and press the PS button and then boom system software update new version of system software is available view details and see what it's going to say it's probably going to tell me exactly what i just told y'all in my last clip the version 3.0 you can connect the public networks um touchpad when you use the touchpad screen remote player you'll see visual feedback it can display remaining battery level so we didn't have that on the on the previous so let's go back all right, we're just going to go ahead and download. Pretty quick update. It's probably going to cut on and off a few times. The system software will be complete once the battery reaches 50%. So it looks like we're going to have to do this a little bit later. <laughs> so I'm going to let it charge up and we're going to wait and then we'll um, do our update then. 
Okay, so we got the battery percentage up to 50%. It would have been good enough, good to know that um, the, what the percentage was. It took me a minute to wait for it to um, get to 50%. But that's, you know, word-wise, if you, you don't have a charged up, it's not going to do the update. So you got to be at 50%. So right now it's downloaded and it's installing the update. We're going to take a look at it and see, you know, what happens or things of that nature should power off a few times it says don't turn off your device so i got it still plugged up we're gonna let it install do its thing and we'll be right back okay so it looked like the update is done and the ps4 is rebooting um a few things man we will we'll, we will take a look at the battery percentage and see if the battery percentage pops up and we will check out the touchpad as well can't really test the wi-fi connection because we're not at a public place we're at home but I have seen people complain about this update, whether it's not connecting. Um, you know, I think a guy tried it 10 times at 10 different places and it only connected to one. I mean, that's subjective, man. Um, a lot of times I've had issues connecting to my hotspot. So we're gonna go ahead and connect. And sign out and then sign in. All right, so we're gonna hit the PS portal button. Sign into the PlayStation Network. All right, I think I can do that with my phone. PS app, approve, I'm all set. And we signed in. They said me welcome. We want to tap the play. And I was playing 2K. So, all right, so there you see the um, the touchpad. See how it's, so that works. <laughs> and battery percentage. So we're gonna go out of this and I think you can swipe over. Yeah, so see there's no battery percentage right there. So we're gonna go into the settings. Uh, the display. No, I need display. System. Device information. We're at the latest 3.0. Date, time, date, time battery so show battery percentage set time into enter rest mode so we got that turned on so when we swipe over now it shows us at 52 percent when we hit the little keypad right here now you have the little squiggly lines when you move your hands i mean the update looked like it did what it's supposed to do Playing 2K. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the update. Nothing special about it. <laughs> you have the 3.0. Um, I will say, when it comes to playing with the, the, the PlayStation Portal, the update that I'm waiting for is the update for you to play with the media. So you see you got YouTube right here, Hulu, Tubi. These are apps that are on your PlayStation. These are third party apps, but you cannot access them. And this is what I want, you know. I want this update to work. So I don't think it's gonna let me do it, but we are gonna try it out. And see if it can't display on the screen. Um, it tells me to go to my PlayStation 5. So this is what I want to have access. This is a media player. I want to be able to watch YouTube videos on this. Um, I mean, watch YouTube video, watch Hulu movies, things of that nature on this. But let me go back. I haven't used this in a while either. So we're going to get it off.
But nonetheless, we'll leave that right now. Because it's telling me to go to do it on the game. Alright, so we disconnected from... Yeah. Alright, cool. So we go ahead and wrap the video up. So, man, as you can see, man, we got the battery percentage up here. We The update did take. Everything looks good on my end. I don't have any issues with this update. Um, until I go to a public place and use it right now I'm okay with it so we're gonna go ahead and power it off man it's dirty red game I want to thank y'all for tuning in to today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'm out